thanks for stopping by at Twisted Art Designs. Today I'm showing the swatch sheets I've created for the Karen Dosh Neo Color 2. They're a water-soluble wax pastel. This is what they look like. So they're like a crayon and they are waxed based but they're water soluble. These are my all time favorite art supply out of everything that I use. I love these the most um, for many reasons and I have a lot of other videos. There's a playlist of all my uh, Karen Dosh videos that show different techniques and tips and tricks. Things that you can do to make washes, glazes, um, use them in stamping backgrounds for art journals, coloring and doing uh, faces, all kinds of really fun things. So I just, I love them. They look um, kind of like a, to me, they look like watercolor when you um, blend them out with water and you can use them in adult coloring books and color with them straight from the crayon or use a water brush and pick up the pigment right from the crayon and put it down on the paper. Um, you can make splatters and splashes and all kinds of fun things with them. So check out my other videos and watch some tips and tricks. And this is just going to be a, a quick show and tell of the swatch sheets that I've created. So as you saw at the very opening of this video, there's all kinds of great reasons why to do a swatch sheet. And I keep my swatches in a three ring binder. And I'm doing them on eight and a half by 11 sheets. Um, I have created these templates and I've done all the work for you. So there's the item number, the product number, the product name, a place where you can swatch it dry to see what it looks like when you color it and a place to swatch it wet, either tipping it from the crayon or coloring it and then blending it out with water. On the sheets that, that you'll receive if you purchase them from my Etsy store, they also have the light fast rating next to the product number. Those aren't on my sheets that I'm using for myself because I put that on as an afterthought and I didn't want to redo my sheets. So um, Karen Dosh uses a three point system for light fast, one, one point being the least light fast and three being the most light fast. So next to the product number there will be dots, uh, one, two, or three dots based on whether or not that specific color, how light fast that specific color is. Um, people do use these for professional artwork. I use them in art journaling. I use them to uh, color drawings that I've created and use on backgrounds and things like that in my art journals and altered books. If you go to the Karen Dosh website, they do have a chart, Neo Color 2 color chart. So when I first saw that, I was pretty excited and I um, printed it out. They're made for you to uh, get a PDF file and print it out on your computer. I made it as large as it could possibly go for an 8.5 by 11 sheet. And this, the size of the place to swatch is so tiny. I mean, this doesn't even really convey, I mean, look next to a crayon, how tiny that little dot is. So it doesn't give you much room to color with it and blend it with water and really show what it can do. So for me, this, this sheet was pretty pointless. Um, and, you know, if you don't want to purchase mine, that's quite all right, too. There are only a couple bucks, and this one is free. So if you choose to use this one, it certainly is fine by me. And their sheet is missing one color, which is kind of strange. It's 193 Bismuth Green. Not sure why that is, but um, that color is missing from this swatch sheet, so I went ahead and added it. Um, so here it is on their sheet. It shows... Their light fast ratings, good, very good, and excellent. And then it has the name, if you can see that, super tiny, the um, name, the num product number, and then a little tiny um, space where you can swatch it. But again, very, very tiny. So what I've done, um, my swatch sheets are uh, done on 
uh, Microsoft Excel and it's a spreadsheet that I created and I wanted to have a place where I could color with it and see what it looks like colored and then swatch it out wet and see what it looks like wet and really give a better indication for me of what the colors look like. So this is what my sheets look like. And I printed onto uh, mixed media paper, a 98 pound mixed media paper. And once I did all my swatching, I wish that I had used watercolor paper because this paper did, um, see how they, they kind of um, bled into this paper. That's not a reflection of the Karen Dosh Neocolor Crayon. It's a reflection of the actual quality of this mixed media paper. So my suggestion is to print on a good hot press smooth watercolor paper. Um, you can cut your paper eight and a half by 11, put it in your printer. I used just use an inkjet printer. You could use um, either a laser printer or inkjet and print it out. I did all my coloring and my swatching and then they're gonna go back to back like this in a sheet protector and they're gonna go into my three ring binder swatch book. So if you're interested in purchasing this template to swatch out your Neo Colors, uh, the one nice thing about Neo Colors is they are sold in sets. They're also sold open stock. So you can buy them a few at a time and as you purchase them, find them on this swatch sheet swatch them out and then when you go to purchase more you're going to see what you're missing what you already have so you don't duplicate colors and you know you can kind of make a wish list for what you want to purchase until you have um, all the colors that they have available so that is one benefit that they do come open stock like that and that's how i purchased all mine it was open stock it took me several years to accumulate all the colors so if you're interested in tips and tricks and my other videos, go to the playlist. It'll show you all my videos on Karen Dosh Neocolor 2 and how to use them in different ways, how I use them, why I love them so much. And if you're interested in purchasing a swatch sheet for your swatch book, then um, go to the link. There will be a link for the... Um, direct link to the Etsy shop where you can purchase this swatch sheet. Now it will be blank. It won't have these colors in it. It'll just be black and white and just the names and the information because it's important for you to do your own swatching. It gets you in touch with your product. When you swatch out your art supplies, you get a good feel for what they do, how they work, how they feel. Like I said, I did it on mixed media paper and I really didn't like the results as much as when I use these on watercolor. I use these a lot in Strathmore 400 series watercolor sketchbooks and they're absolutely beautiful. And so this paper, that's what I mean about swatching. It gave me an indication of, mm, they work okay on mixed media, but they work better on watercolor paper. And that's because you do add a lot, quite a bit of water to activate the color and move it around. So that's it. And until next time, when I have more swatch sheets for my swatch book to share with you, um, I will be back to give you more of what I have and how I've swatched them out. When my swatch book is completed, I'm going to do a video showing my completed swatch book, everything in it, how I swatch it, and how I use it. So some people may be interested in that, some maybe not, but that's it for this time. So thanks for stopping by at Twisted Art Designs. Continue to make art because art soothes the heart. Mm -hmm.